So I've been playing for a little while. Uh, probably like, I don't know, an hour and a half. Something like that. Level 13. I'm playing a wizard or mage, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah. The Halloween event's going on, so you get some Halloween stuff. Nothing crazy. You get like, uh, you get like gems for crafting. You get potions. You get, uh, I think some of these other stuff to upgrade your gear. Upgrade your spells. Just random shit. Some candy for XP. Some money. Drop chance. Um, yeah, just some cool stuff. So far, um, I haven't really seen any, like, pay-to-win features in the game. So far, I've been... I mean, I already have some of these in one of these, uh, in one of the chests. I think it's this one. No, that's endgame stuff. But yeah, right here. So, I mean, I'm not sure if the game's gonna be pay-to-win, but so far, all of this stuff is legit. But all of this stuff, you can actually buy from the store as well. Yeah, see, there's the resurrection cards, town portals, there's those essences I was showing you, there's more of the essences, there's the identification. Here's the box of potions I just showed you. Um, I don't know about any of this stuff, it's probably later in the game. Um, here's some of the gems for upgrading your stuff, which I showed you. I think some of this is endgame too, these higher end gems. The, the gems for up here, I think, are actually cash. I don't know if you can earn these in the game, which is unfortunate because uh... There's a cosmetic shop. Like, there's cosmetics you can get in the game. I don't remember how to get there. Anyways. I figured since I'm this far in the game, and I've played it a little bit, I've upgraded some of my gear, as you can tell. These little two yellow dots. If you look at my gear, like this one. See how below it says, below the armor picture, it has armor 65 and a question mark, question mark. If you look at my gear, it has two stats and if you look at the yellow dots the yellow dots indicate how many stats I have on that gear like this one there's a socket but there's no stat these have stats and I didn't socket the gear I just used an upgrade material to upgrade my gear two times but actually it says level four but it says level two because I upgraded it twice I don't know it's very confusing but anyways, yeah, it's upgraded twice, so it has two stats. Um, that's a level one, but upgraded twice for the stats. This is upgraded twice, but it's a level four helmet, because I upgraded it to level four to get more, uh, fucking barrier, because I'm a mage. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys a boss fight. I think this is, like, the first actual, like, boss encounter that I've encountered in this game. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of uh, the mechanics. Because so far, this game is really weird. <laughs> it's not a terrible game. I'll point it out. It's not terrible. Oh, by the way, I have a, I have a fucking pet. So, apparently there's like minion builds in this game. And they're actually pretty insane. Let me show you guys that real quick, actually. So this is a talent tree. Well, this is actually your skill tree, I should say. This is your uh, hotbar. You can swap between either of them, so you can have multiple abilities. Um, but as far as the actual, like, talents... I don't remember where to go. Oh, it's right here, huh? Here we go, Zodiac. Yeah, this is the talent tree. So this is where you do all, like, your uh, your strength, your blah, blah, blah. And then you, like, move on to, like, these. But I'm in this tree right here. For magic. But there's a... Yeah, see a pawn, a damage, blah, blah, blah. Here we go, a minion build. So you got some pretty cool stuff. Anyways, let's go. Summon these. Ow. I don't know what I'm aiming at, actually. My character's casting lightning uh, by itself. Oh, sick. Let's look at that goody goods. But yeah, um, you can toggle only your first ability. So whatever's in your first slot, you can to toggle it on or off. See how it highlights in green? When it's toggled, that means your character will auto-cast that ability. If you're within a distance of an enemy. I'll show you what I mean. So walk up to him. Not even touching any of my keys. 
It's just auto casting. And then you turn it off. See if I can find any more enemies. Probably can't because I already killed them all. But yeah. Let's go back. Show you guys a little bit more. And you have auto walking when you're in town. Sand, I will search. Oh, what was that? Oh shit, dude. And what I've been noticing is money is not an issue in this game. Like, you actually get money fairly easily. I mean, I have over a hundred grand, but I got a hundred for I got a hundred k for free because I pre-registered and the game's new. But I've earned probably about thirty thousand dollars. I spent it on gear and some other stuff. Okay, so here we go. So now it's teaching me about this stuff, but. I'm not gonna go into that. Select second tier. Yeah, it requires five, which is what I'm working on. That's why I'm in here. More cast speed and then more damage. And that'll be five. But why not just go into all of it? Next quest. Uh, so we're going here, so we need, we need to go here first. It's a bit of a weird game. Okay, so my ability is not highlighted. So you stand in combat, it's not doing anything. So I actually have to cast it myself. But if I turn it on, it auto casts. You can move while doing it. Just, you know. It's a very interesting feature. I do feel that there's a uh, bit of a delay in the game. Like, I'll walk up to these and I'll cast. See, it's like a bit of a delay. It's like... And I think it's because it's auto-casting and it's trying to do that first. But... What have you seen there? Enemies block. <laughs> Which is kind of what uh, Path of Exile does. Enemies block, they dodge. That's kind of what this game has. Enemies block. I don't think they could do anything else. I think it's just block. So we need to go this way. There's also loot goblins in this game, like Diablo, which I find to be really odd. Cause <laughs> they dropped like uh, crafting essences. Can you pick up the loot, dude? Which I can't really uh, say no to that. You know, crafting is always nice because this game requires you to actually level up your gear and enchant it to have uh, better stats, but also to level it up so you have more armor and more uh, shield, or whatever, depending on your class. See if you look at it, potions, getting some gear. And your potions uh, are automated. So if your health goes below, I think 75%, something, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's pretty decent. It's like 75 or 80%, if it goes below that, the potion will automatically kick in. But you could probably turn it off in the settings. I don't really fucking know. I don't really care. Same goes for your mana. But I think your mana kicks in around 40% or so. Just because... Obviously, if you die, you die. I think, you know? So mana's not a big of a deal. And you can destroy these. Just like Diablo. But I mean, so far I'm enjoying the game. It's not. It's not too bad. I just, like I said, I just hope it's not a pay to win. So far, it hasn't been pay to win. I've been earning all of my stuff legitly, just been finding this on the ground. You know, I haven't really been able to find gear. Like, anything good. Like, most of the blue stuff that drops is crafting stuff. And all the vendors in town have white gear, so... Yeah, all the blue gear I've actually found. I bought this from the store, but that was like the only blue item he had for a magic person. So it was kind of sad. And these are just like Diablo as well. You get buffs. So. Pretty sick. And they're also highlighted in blue. I don't know if you saw that. The enemies glow blue just like in a Path of Exile. Showing it a little harder. There's the loot goblin! Come here! That little big fat brain head. Yes. Gold ore. <laughs> Look how fat his head is, dude. 
<laughs> He's such a weird looking alien dude. Oh, I swapped my abilities, my bad. I've never been here, so this is my first time at this. Just first impressions on the game. I just wanted to show you guys what the game looked like after I played it for a little bit. When the content is actually enjoyable. What oh, was that water effect? Interesting. Stop. Yeah, see they're all blue. And if you look at the bottom left of my screen, I don't know how long it stays like this. Uh, yeah, if you look down there, I'm trying to get it where you guys can read it. See, if you look down here, normal difficulty, general area, level 11, poisoned oasis. So I'm assuming you can up the difficulty later in the game. So that'll be interesting. God, I'm frozen. Well, now, now you're frozen. So he was like a boss. Cool, that's done. These old pets are really powerful. Like, look at that damage, you got 100 damage. this for the quest. Nice, look at that. Look at all that goodies. Mm. These are crafting materials. Same with these. But yeah, like it. You get most of your stuff. <laughs> nope. I don't want that. I gotta go to the next quest. Yeah, see, I just used a potion. The game just used a potion for me. You probably remember these from Diablo as well. The little chests you open and you have to defend or kill, whatever. That's kind of what this one is. This one has a fire. AoE, though. A lot of Diablo stuff that you can remember from... Well, I mean, a lot of stuff in this game from Diablo, I guess you could say. On here. Okay. You have this game is free, so if you guys want to get it, you guys can uh, download it. Into. Oh, come on now, man. What was that? Oh, well, I get flamethrower. Sick. Ah! Go to Mall or Front using a return scroll or a waypoint. I think I'll just go to a waypoint. <laughs> it's only down here. So yeah, you can... Uh, we all know what the waypoints and the identification scrolls are from uh, Diablo and stuff. I'm trying to find them. Yeah, these. Resurrection, that's a bit of an odd one. <laughs> But yeah, return scrolls, the portal, like in Diablo, and then identification scrolls, so we know what those are. You can buy, I think, these two, and potions from a vendor. But you can't buy these, I don't think. You might be able to, but I think they're mainly just quest rewards, or you just get them throughout the game. But the potions, the scrolls, the portal scrolls, you can buy from a vendor, as far as I know. I haven't, I haven't had to identify any gear because see like this just says dexterity required 30 and obviously I don't have that because I'm a mage so I haven't had to really identify anything so I'm assuming this is for like later game so yeah oh that's new what is this minor gems I'm really curious what the hell this is permanently increases poison resistance okay I don't even really need to open that and I don't know why the game keeps telling me 
square and square. I'm not on a fucking controller. I'm on PC. This way. Move. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the game, though, definitely check it out on Steam or wherever else it is. On what? December. Because it is free. So I just chose an ability. Nice, I just got flamethrower and all these... And I think these are usually gems or something. So yeah, uh, if you go to the box, this is what I just got. I think I got one of these boxes. Oh, here we go, one of these. Yeah, so you get skill point, like skill kind of gems. They enhance your skills. Show you what I mean. So like, for instance, like this skill, it's lightning. This increases spell damage, makes it more damage. And then you have like something like this, cold damage. Increases cast speed, or reduces cast speed. Yeah, increase cast speed. So this increases cast speed. So these gems are used to, like, enhance your skills. But, see how this skill has one green line and two blue? If it's got two blue, I can put... This one actually can't go there. Uh, this one. See, I could do this. I have two blue, so increase damage and increase cast speed for this ability. But because it's cold, you could also use cold damage or something else. But this one is use count, so I could teleport twice. And this one's just quick cast. And this one's just damage. And this one, I don't have the ability for this. Lightning conduct. Lightning strike, and this is only lightning chains. I don't have it. But when it comes to this one, I probably don't have any abilities for this either. We'll have to see what it looks like. And then when you're done with that, you go over to here and you put your spell in the slot. And like I said, you can swap, but I think you need a secondary weapon. Don't do that. Kinda wanna put him in there, but I don't think I could swap it out because I don't have a, uh... well maybe I can, because he's a pet. Um, yeah, these are the shops. So here's where you upgrade your skills, which is really interesting. So upgrade your that upgrade the thing. And you'll see the damage over here. So these are just your shitty runes. And these are how you actually upgrade your stuff big time. See look at that. One of those is one level. One of these is one level. But as this progresses higher, it's gonna take more of these. So if we just use one blue, two blue. See here we go. Halfway leveled up. Use one of these, leveled up. Use another one, leveled up. But if I use it again, as you can see, the orange one, or the bronze one, is pretty shit. But if I use the blue one, it's about the same. So, you kind of just want to use whatever you want. But because I'm not playing a melee or a dex bow build, these gems are useless to me. <laughs> like, I could pretty much just use any one of these. And these are just really shitty gems. So, I mean, it kind of just depends on how you want to do it. And this goes to level 5 because of my level. So, I honestly don't really think it... Yeah, see, look at that. Only a quarter of the way. It's about the same. It's about the same. It's about the same. But if actually, if you look at that. That gives more. And I think it's because... I think these two give less because these two are based on strength and dex and this is a magic and this is a neutral which means this is all of this so based on the skills what these give but since I don't use these you could just use them it doesn't even fucking matter it's just whatever um, you also have the rune shop buy some skills they're categorized magic bow uh, warrior whatever then you got your blacksmith. You pretty much just disenchant like everything of the game because huh, there's like literally no use to keeping anything. Barrier seven. I don't really know what mine is. So yeah, you pretty much just like I'll keep that though actually. And there's your crafting materials. So what is that that I got? Seven and twenty-two. 
I feel like that'd be a lot better. And that's seven, that's eight, but it's level nine. I'm actually gonna equip that. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna upgrade this. See, there's no stats. You take one of these, boom. Three stats, dude. And there's my three circle little yellow dots I was telling you guys about. See, it doesn't have a yellow dot. Now it's got three, that's got two. And you could upgrade it again as well. Ah, that's a bummer. Nice. So yeah, you have a chance to get really, really good stats. <laughs> but at the cost of these. Should have just kept it at three, but whatever. Uh, five. Let's go with this one. Because I think three or four is the highest you can go. Hit rating. Oh, you see that, dude? You see it tells you. <laughs> HP one stat. HP kill. Poison resist. Hit. Poison. Cold gain chance. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't have a lot of gems. <laughs> um, as far as a weapon, it's already... Um, I kind of want to use... What does this actually do? Reimbues the options. What does that mean? Oh, shit, dude. Okay. Spell damage, 32%. We'll just keep it at that. What's the necklace? Mana dexterity. Okay, so it just re-rolls it. Cold damage. I'm actually okay with that because I'm using a cold ability. That's armor. Hit. Fire resist. Why not? The boots. It works for me. <laughs> I don't really need to worry about anything, honestly. Yeah, gear shop. There's nothing. Um, I don't think there's like a way to like actually like upgrade your gear. I don't know. Still learning some of the stuff. And here's just a random vendor. Potions, return scroll. That's pretty much all you can buy. It's fairly cheap though. What are these? Register. Oh, and uh, this is actually kind of cool to know. 150 slots of backspace. That's actually really, really nice. Most games only have like, I think 50, maybe 75 or something. Let's see what we have in here. Just keep fucking going, dude. I don't know how, how this goes. <laughs> no clue. Uh, more damage, cast speed. Look at that. Boom. Now we can unlock the next area. Oh, hello. So they're all categorized now. So this is barrier, mana, HP, mana, mana regen. This is minion damage. That's physical. Okay, so this is the tree I want to go into right here because I'm a caster. I think you can start... Okay, so... I don't have any more points, but I think you can either start here, here, or here, but I'm not sure. There's, you probably start here or something. But yeah, this pet tree actually looks crazy. Sentry damage. I'm not really sure what that is. Yeah, that pet tree looks nuts, dude. For what it looks like, you start here on this tree, which means you probably start here. Okay. Cool. Journal. We get these. Get some more crafting. Those are more. Those are the little bronze crafting things I'll tell you guys about. Sub thing quests. Receive. More crafting stuff. Exit. Here we go. Um. That's just a map. Okay. 
you can sort. Not really like, you know, the greatest sorting, but, you know, it's a decent sorting system. Um, you also have pets, which I have one right here. Identify, drop, potions. Yeah, here we go, here we go. So your potion gets auto used at 60% health and whatever on mana. But you can change it, which I think is super, super cool. Like as the content progresses, it gets harder. You can probably put it here if you're fighting a boss or something, if it's really, really hard. But like, depending on how big these potions are, 168, it kind of just depends. But like I said, I had that box of bigger potions. You can have other stuff like poison resist or fire resist or whatever for these the elixirs. So yeah, that's how you do that. Don't have pet ability yet though, so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this is not a bad game. So far, I don't see pay to win features in terms of like, everything I've been getting is legit. Like all of this stuff I've been earning just by playing the game, doing quests, picking shit up. Um, crafting seems fairly straightforward, no cash required. I do think things like this or maybe these, because this is pre-registration, so maybe this and maybe some of these uh, rare items, and maybe some of these might be cash, but because the game is pre-registered and the game just got released and there's a Halloween event going on, these gold items I got for free. So once the game's actually like, you know, past the event and the whole pre-registration shit's done, I feel like these might be only for cash players because see if you look at there's a gold one here and a blue one obviously the gold one is going to be better so this changes the magic item into a rare this changes the normal into a magic so I don't know it might not be cash it just might be more of an end game kind of thing but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later